So in this video, I'm going to give an overview of tissues. And so some background on tissues is, um, we'll start with this. So histology is essentially the study of tissues and how they are arranged into organs. And remember, an organ is something, a structure that has a distinct boundary and is made up of two or more tissues. So tissues make up organs. And the study of tissues is called histology. And so you might ask, well, what is a tissue? Well, tissues are essentially a group of similar cells and cell products that arise from the same region of the embryo. So they come from the same part of the embryo. And then they work together to perform a specific role. So an example might be muscles, for example. Muscles are a type of tissue, and their functions are essentially to contract and essentially just move things, right? So that's an example of working together to perform a specific role. And there are four different tissue types that we're going to be concerned with. They're broad categories, and these categories are going to be broken down even more. And so the four types of tissue that we're going to be concerned with are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue, and muscular tissue. And so you might wonder, well, how do they differ from each other? How do you classify them as different tissues? Well, you have to consider these things. So the four tissue types differ in the type and function of their cells. For example, epithelial tissue is going to have a different type and a different type of cells than muscular tissue. Next would be the characteristic of the matrix. And remember, the matrix is essentially everything that isn't the cell. So the matrix is essentially made up of proteins and a gel known as ground substance or extracellular fluid as one might call it and remember so tissues are just cells and matrix and so the space occupied by the cells versus the matrix are also different in these tissues for example some tissues have more cells while some tissues have more matrix relative to cells for example, in the connective tissue, the matrix occupies a lot more space than the cells. And in the future, we're going to talk a lot about connective tissue, and that's because it's the most complex. Connective tissue is broken down into a bunch of other subcategories, and we'll talk about those subcategories in future videos. And so let's get a better picture of tissues. And so what I've drawn right here is essentially a little bit of a tissue, for example, like a little piece of tissue. And so as we know, tissue is made up of cells and matrix. And so I've drawn cells in blue. So the blue things are cells. I labeled them. And then everything else there is the matrix. And so we all know about cells, but let's talk about the matrix. So the matrix is made up of proteins and ground substance. And so what I've drawn here or written down is that the matrix is made up of fibrous proteins and ground substance. And ground substance, we're going to define that. And so ground substance is the very important thing. There Ground substance is made up of water, minerals, gases, nutrients, wastes, and other even other compounds in certain ground substances. And so ground substance is important in that it is how the cells obtain their oxygen and nutrients. And ground substance also allows cells to release wastes into the ground substance. So essentially, the ground substance gives the cells their nutrients and 
collects the waste or allows for the cells to dispose of the wastes of their waste. And so that pretty much sums it up for tissues. This was mostly an overview of the four tissue types. We're going to talk more about tissues a lot in the upcoming anatomy videos. And I hope this video helped. What you need to take out of it is that a tissue is a group of similar cells and cell products that come from the same region of the embryo and work together to perform a specific role. And obviously, the four tissue types are going to come up a lot. You're definitely going to need to know them for your anatomy tests. And the four tissue groups are epithelial, connective, nervous, and muscular. And they differ in the types and functions of their cells, what the matrix is made of, and the amount of space occupied by, occupied by cells versus the matrix. And we just spoke about what the matrix is made up of as well. And something that you're going to notice a lot in anatomy is that there are many subcategories. For example, tissues are made up of blah, 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 while those things that make up tissues are made up of something else and so on. So that's going to be a reoccurring theme in anatomy. And so I hope this video helped you get an overview of what tissues are, and I hope it helped. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.